What's up guys, Stefan Ciencio, the action taking blogger here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to use Trello to increase results in your business. Now I have to say that the action taking tribe has been growing. Now if you're new, my name is Stefan Ciencio, like I said, the action taking blogger. I've been an online marketer for years, and this channel is a way of me for sharing all of my awesome knowledge that I've gained over the last few years of experience marketing online and how it can help you and whatever you're trying to do. So if you want to get more awesome free content, go ahead and just hit the subscribe button button for this channel. Make sure you like this video and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So with that being said, let's get into it. Here's how to use Trello to increase results in your business. Okay, so Trello, what is it and who is it for? Trello is an awesome app that you can use in your business for project management, for scheduling tasks, for storing data. It's got so many different functions. It could be used for software developers. It could be used for project management. It could be used just for even if you have some stuff that you wanted to write down, like links to somewhere and you wanted to remember where it was. Trello has all that functionality. So uh, it's at just Trello.com. It's an awesome tool. It's actually free to use. So you can literally make an account from Trello. Just go to the main page and just go to click sign up. And right here I can create an account. So I actually have one for my main brand. So I'm just going to do another one for Action Taking Blogger. Let's make an account, a new account so I can walk you through. So you create your new account. Okay, so now I have a new account right here, and it's awesome. So you do want to make sure you confirm your email address, so you could do that go by going to your personal inbox. But basically what you do now is you can actually go to uh, your main uh, pin, uh, Trello area and create different boards. So you can create all sorts of different boards, and a board is basically this, okay? This is a board where you can have, uh, it's like on a certain topic. So I could literally call this board um, if I wanted to. Um, content schedule board okay and like for example if you wanted to work on content for your business you could schedule something here to say uh, you know um, topics right and then here uh, being written and then you could oops sorry and then here you could schedule done if you wanted to so for example here maybe you want to write an article your words keyword and then you could say the keyword for the article would be how to increase productivity your business so now you or someone on your team can see this and they could say okay this is great let me grab this move it to being written so if someone picks it up they can do that and what's cool is if you click on the card there's actually a ton of new functions that are involved you can actually add members to the card so if you you or a member of your team wants to be assigned this card you can assign them so you can know who's working on it you can add a due date for this card so I can go ahead and say this needs to be done by the 31st of this month and now it has a due date um, I could add a checklist to this card so I could just call, call it checklist and I could say item one uh, make sure SEO optimized, make sure minimum 500 words. You could add subtasks to each task here and just check them off when they're done like this. So it's got so much functionality and it's just really, really great for that reason. And when it's done, you can literally move it to done and you can mark it done as well. So here's the due date. You can literally click done and then this green arrow will show up and it'll look, it'll be done. So green means that it's done when you do that. So this is just one simple way that you can use Trello in your business. And if you want to invite people to the board, you can do so right here. You can literally just invite them with a link if you wanted to, or you can invite them with an email. And if you invite them with an email, they have the opportunity to sign up for their own Trello account. So then in the future, you just add their email, they will automatically be added to this board. So Trello has worked phenomenal for me in tracking things in my business as well as storing things, but you can use it for all aspects of your business and your life. For example, I can go and create a new board and I can make any cool background I want on it. So I could use this background and call it, uh, you know, personal fitness board. So even in my personal life, I can go ahead and create a board for that. So I could say, you know, fitness goals. 2018 I could say uh, you know goal number one uh, or actually yeah let's see uh, underway um, you know to 
lose 25. Sorry, I was just cutting out there. Uh, but basically, I made another one here I'll show you called miscellaneous information. And I could show you what I do with this one. Um, so what I do is I actually have like a, you know, like purple lock, like a, I have like a lock for my, when I go to the gym. And I literally, like, I always forget stuff. So, like, for example, you could add a purple lock combo here. And you could, like, you know, 14, 17, 21, 31. You could literally do stuff like that. You could add in information like this so that you can always find it uh, if you need it. You know, like, another thing is maybe, um, you know, uh, you obviously don't want to store things like passwords in here because someone could find it very easily. But something where it's, like, not going to, like, harm you. You could store information of all sorts. And, like, even just doing things like this. I found super helpful in my business um, but you know like even keeping schedules like if you want to like add one you know like promotion schedule or something like you know if you're promoting products of some sort so you know uh, July schedule you could say like you know uh, 729 promote new offer to email list send content post so then you know you could like add them to like when they're done stuff like that so you kind of get the general feel of it this is generally how it works um, it's a super super powerful tool just like what I showed you here and it could be used for all sorts of different things um, and like I said you could create all sorts of different boards you can invite people or you could keep them private um, it's totally up to you um, if you want to add people, this will become a team board, or you can make it public, which means it will be visible to literally anyone, and it could even show up in search engines like Google. So you have lots and lots of options here. Now, another cool thing is your activity is stored on the right here. So anytime you make a change or a team member makes a change, it will all be stored here. So that's another cool thing. So you could use it for so many different things, just like I showed you, to really help you and your team if you have one, just to keep organized, or even maybe store personal things that you would otherwise uh, forget about so like like I said I keep like my lock combo in here and all sorts of other things otherwise I would forget so in a nutshell that's how to use Trello to get better results in your business and I uh, hope you found this helpful if you did definitely hit that like button I'd love to hear from you in the comments and make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to make sure you get notified of all future videos that's it for now I'm Stefan Ciencio the action-taking blogger and I will see you next time